Hi! We are Stellar and uh, we have some exciting news. Releasing our debut EP called Stages on June 19th. So we wanted to go over the concept. The idea behind it is that every song on the EP represents a different stage of grief. So from like a breakup or from a big life event. Number one on the EP is Call Me Goodbye. That's one that you can listen to right now. And that's representing denial. Then the second one, which is also out already, is Stranger, and that represents guilt. Then we have Black Hole, which represents anger. It's kind of like our, our punchier rock. rock song. And then um, these four walls yeah. represents depression. And then fifth, we have Reflections, which is the upward turn. Number six yeah. is Water, which is also out already. <laughs> and that represents reconstruction. The final song is Living Without You, which represents acceptance. So first we have Call Me Goodbye, which was one of the first songs we wrote together. Um, when we were writing it, we were just like playing music and wanting to write a song together, and you brought up these lyrics that you had already written without mm -hmm. any music to it, right? Yeah, that's what it was. I was going through my own stages of grief <laughs> with the relationship at the time, so like it was a good outlet to write a song, but it was just so overwhelming to try to make it a song right away, so I just had these lyrics, and then when Sophie and I were jamming, I brought them over, and she really liked them, mm -hmm. so then... Yeah, then I started doing some like piano chords to it, which is kind of random, because like I don't play piano that much. We rented a mic from Wong and McQuaid, and then... Garage band. Yeah, <laughs> garage band, and then found someone to mix it. And then we asked my friend Sage, who's now in the band, to add some vibraphone, and she decided that she wanted to. Call Me Goodbye was kind of written because, um, well, I had a relationship that ended because of a lack of communication, so it was really hard for me to actually understand why it happened. So I went through a lot of denial where, like, cause I didn't even know what had happened you really. Closure. Yeah, like you didn't have closure. So you start like doubting it and you almost don't believe it. But uh, in the song it talks about um, suspecting like maybe what they felt, like how long they'd felt that way. We talked about like yeah. thinking back to moments in your relationship and thinking like, did they know they're gonna break up with me at that point? Yeah. Like, like, did they know this was like the last time? Yeah. Or like, yeah, and then Call Me Goodbye, of course, was like, give me closure, basically, mm -hmm. so. Denial, mm -hmm. stage one. <laughs> <laughs> My breakup turn. <laughs> so, Stranger was released in December. Um, I wrote this one and you added some fun guitar parts to it. Um, this one is kind of like Call Me Goodbye but from the other perspective. And it represents guilt. So, like the feeling when you know that a relationship has to end, but like not being able to commit to it yet and always going back to that person. It's, it's the feeling when you accept that you know that you have to be the bad guy and feeling really guilty about that. Um, but also feeling a little bit of relief in the fact that you've accepted that and you know it needs to happen. And yeah, it's really about like focusing on yourself rather than another person and like what's gonna make you happy, which does sound selfish, but everyone Sometimes needs to do that at some point so in life, much. right? So yeah, this is guilt. <laughs> and the third song is Black Hole, which represents anger. Um, at the time, I guess a lot of the music I listened to is like alt rock, classic rock. You had a fun, rocky guitar riff that was really different from all the other songs we'd written. And then I had, I have this like note on my phone that has just a bunch of like lyric ideas or just concepts that I think are cool that could be developed into lyrics. When you hear it, you'll understand. It's like you're on a night out, like takes you through the journey of the night pretty much. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's kind of like a rock song. We also wanted something that connected to like how we met each other. Um, and we met at the Black Hole Theater Department at the U of M, the University of Manitoba. Um, so we thought that that would be a cool kind of ode to where we met. And we have a music video coming up yeah. for this one as well. So, um, yeah, that's how this one came to be. Fourth is these four walls. <laughs> Thanks for that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You're making weird noises. I'm just really awkward. Best. This song is depression. <laughs> 
Um, I wrote this song with my dad, actually. I was getting really into songwriting. We had just, we we're just about to, or maybe it was like February. February 2021, we had just started the band. I was writing songs left, right, and center because everything was shut down um, because of COVID. Like, you couldn't go anywhere. It, the cases were really bad and like you couldn't see your friends, couldn't go into someone else's house or someone else's car. Like, it was super isolating and I was really struggling. School was online. Like, there was literally nothing to do. So I was going through it and yeah, my dad um, wanted to write a song with me. Shout out, Don. <laughs> so I came up with the guitar and the chorus, and he came up with the verses, which are beautiful. They're very poetic. And then, um, yeah, we put it together. So this song is like the depression stage of a breakup, but it was also like just mental health and like feeling isolated. Um, so it kind of it works in the context of the stages of grief and also separately, just like going through a hard time, you know, and feeling isolated. Has arrived. So reflections is now the upward turn. Things are starting to get better. It was inspired by a discussion that I was having with my friend. Um, we were sitting on his porch, looking up at the stars just like talking about what was going on in our lives because we were both going through some changes. And yeah, we were talking about happiness and he said this super wise thing that really stuck with me and kind of triggered this whole song. He said that a lot of the time he's not trying to be happy. Obviously everyone's trying to be happy, but like that's not the ultimate goal. It's just to be at peace with your situation. So that, triggered the song and the lyric, I'm not trying to be happy, I'm just trying to find some peace. Yeah, the song is, is acoustic, um, finger picking, really soft, there's um, like nature sounds in the background and it's literally just my reflections of my life at that time and things I was thinking about a lot. And yeah, I was triggered by my friend Ethan, shout out. The sixth song on the EP is Water, which is one that's already out. And, um, so I wrote Water as kind of like a, an exercise because I was getting so overwhelmed and frustrated with writing, <laughs> like putting so much pressure on writing songs like all at once, like mm -hmm. uh, the music and the lyrics. So I'm like, well, let's just actually make this a little more, let's bring it back to like tapping into your emotions. So this one represents reconstruction. To put that into context, for me personally, it would be kind of reconstructing my, my belief in like love again. Where I was is that I didn't feel ready, but I had a person that I really loved, and I'm like, I'm not ready, but I didn't really understand what that meant. It's like, I'm not ready, but why? We have or many like, conversations what? about this situation. Yeah. Anyways, Water's about kind of reconstructing that idea of like, you can mm -hmm. just let yourself be happy. Like you don't have to get in your own way sometimes. Mm -hmm. And like, yes, it's important to think things through, but sometimes if something makes you happy, just do it. And okay. if it doesn't work out, then and you know better. And it's scary but. to like go back into that after a breakup, like putting yourself in that position to maybe get hurt again, but it's also important. Living Without You is the final stage of grief and it's kind of accepting everything that happened and the place that you're in now. Yeah, for me it was accepting that this event had happened, that this person is not in your life anymore and that you're maybe better off for it. Yeah, okay, so for me, in writing this song, um, <laughs> I, yeah, I started to feel like myself again and I was exploring my newfound independence and like, yeah, just doing things on my own and treating myself really well. I took myself out on some dates, exploring this new version of reality and accepting that whatever had happened had happened and that was okay and I had learned from it and yeah. All of these songs that I wrote during this tumultuous period of my life like 
were a really good release for me. There were so many thoughts floating around in my brain that it really helped to like grasp them and put them into something that was like productive and also helped me to understand the situation more. This EP is kind of like a snapshot of my life and your life in the past year. And now it has a home. Yeah. And uh, you'll all be able to listen to it very soon. June 19th. And yeah, it's cool that like people listen to our songs and like apply it to their own life. And like, yeah, because that's always what I do when I listen to songs, right? Like, like yeah. put it in the context of my own life and like how it connects to things that I've gone through. So it's cool that like a song that I've written can do that for someone else. It's gonna be a very versatile yeah. EP, so there'll be something for yeah. everyone in there. And to celebrate it, we have a show. If you're in Winnipeg on June 22nd at the Goodwill Social Club with North Lawn Drive and Tuva, it's sponsored by Real Love. It's gonna be amazing and I'm really excited for it. Yay! It'll be at 9 p.m. that night, so after you've done work or yeah. whatever, come on down. It's a Wednesday. Yes, yeah, so there's no you're excuse. Gonna be in town. You're gonna be in town, you're not gonna be at the lake. <laughs> I'm not gonna be at the lake. And we're gonna have merch, old merch for sale and new merch, Woo! stickers tote bags, t-shirts. So good. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah, I can do that. Stages. Stages. June, June 19th. 19th. <laughs>